Having a background in telecommunications and energy for rural electrification over a decade, John Avira is now the new Secretary of Communication Technology and Energy who's filling in the position that was vacant for four months. Minister Sam Bussell says Mr. Avira is no stranger to energy and communication as he has personally worked with him on a number of government projects in the past. John Avira, I've got experience with him for the last 10 years, 12 years. Uh, when he was with Telecom, John Avira was uh, the implementing uh, manager to oversee all the satellite uh, VSET system that has been, and, and towers that has been put in the rural areas, and my district benefited a lot from that. Not only that, when John Avira moved to PNG Power, he was responsible for rural electrification, and uh, he, he was uh, in charge of uh, implementing uh, easy pay meters and MSK minimum supply kits to the rural homes. So for my drive in this energy and uh, information sector, I believe that there's no better person to find than John sitting next to me here today. Acting Secretary Fliel Shongol, who was in office for four months, gave the newly appointed Secretary John Avira his assurance of working together and moving forward to serve the people of PNG. And I am pleased to mention that with the new incoming Secretary, these are the partners that will help us to implement the policies that the Minister has just mentioned today. Secretary Avira says he is looking forward to working with the Minister and staff of communications and energy. Um, I will endeavour to work with industry stakeholders. As we all know, communication is one of the key sectors that we need to um, put in place and, and enabling policies and also implement the target projects that government has in, in, in planning. Minister Bussell maintained that the appointment of Mr. Avira was done on merit. We have a lot of delivery to do and of course the announcement by government the last year budget of 30 million that will be to, to, to fund rural electrification and I believe that my department will take charge of that. Meanwhile, Minister Bussell says with 13% of PNG's rural population now covered to access electricity, the commitments from USA, Japan, Australia and New Zealand to electrify 70% of PNG's rural population will be a priority this year. Godwin Eki, National MTV News.